have been drawn out in this ministry. Whoever receive it, I said some some of some of my children have received it. So he, he told me something. He said, my son, if you see that somebody who used to call you before is not calling you, don't be angry because the sword has been used upon him or her. Don't worry. He asked me a question. He said, have you ever seen somebody who went to hospital for surgical operation? After surgery, you see the person you drop, you drop up and down, say no. Somebody hearing me. Somebody will go to the hospital and surgery will be done on him or her. Maybe something will be removed from her, from him. You just you see that person, you don't jump up and start jumping. Say, I, I say no. Say, that is exactly what is happening right now. And he said, if you find out that somebody, maybe after service, somebody is have strength enough to call you, it happens to matter. The message was so wonderful. Know that it's either that person got that great strength to do that, or the sword has not made that person. Say, if the sword meets you, you will be you go home and start crying. And said, We should all pray that this sword will meet every one of us. Say, he said this word to every source on this mountain, including me, everyone. And until we all accept it, he will not come down with healing. He's tired of healing people, driven people, and the end, see them here. Say, I don't want to do it again. Have the sword met you? Have the sword pierced into you and bring a victory by set those things you are doing. Before you know it, you start getting angry of the man of God. You start angry. He said, My soul, don't worry. The sword is the one working. And after the sword has bisected, then the eyes will clear again. The person will come back again. Have you, have you received the old sword? Have the sword pierced you for the past four days now? The sword that God has released, has it got to you? If it has not, you better pray hard. And those of you that the sword, or those of all that the sword have met, be happy, rejoice. And please don't hinder the sword. Let it finish, keep on locating, even if it's done when I'm talking. Please, when you go back and pray, say, Father, this word you have released in my no solution, let it locate me, locate the husband. Is somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pray earnestly, Father, even if it's in the dream, even if it's not when I'm connected. This word you said you have released in mind no solution. Let it locate my husband. Let it locate me and begin to bisect, scatter everything in me that need to be scattered. And he said, if this word did not meet you, and you still pray for healing deliverance, and you allow him to heal you. To deliver you, and at the end, you are coming to him, and it's not to meet him heaven. You will ever regret living in this world. You will ever regret living. A new face is being opened in Christianity. Thank God, man of solution, we are already feeling it. A new era. Uh, the Lord has just brought a new era of, Christ, of Christianity on earth now. And I pray as he's doing it here, it will locate every church. A time is coming, let me say this. You will build a church for the Lord who say, I will not enter. So you hear me? You will yes. build a church for God. You will say, no, I will not enter. A, say, a time is coming 
that I will bring out my children who can reject things from those who are not holy. I will bring out my children that you will buy a car for, you will spit on the car and say, I will not, because you are not pure, I will not, I will not, I will not use it. I am breaking our children. And you, you will build a house for you say, go to hell with your go to hell with your with your car unless you are genuinely born in case your car and your house perish with you. Like, like I'm Paul. So, so watch out. If you are not ready and breaking our children like that, and I pray, Mr. Matthew, you'll be ready for it. I pray those who care will be ready for that. So I'm bringing out my children that will reject eh, no matter what you bring. So long you are not ready for heaven, they will reject it. So, and he said, my son, do you know I cannot accept gift from whoever I rejected? But why are my children doing taking it? I cannot accept a gift from anyone I have rejected. I have to accept you first before I accept your gift. How can I accept your gift and I still see you here? How can you say you built a house for me? How can you say you preach my word? How can you say you, you, get, you, you did something in church and you still go to hell? Do I contradict myself? I don't contradict myself. Before I accept you, I accept your gift. I must have accepted you. And I'm bringing that children. Those several children, he told Isaiah, Elijah, I have about 7,000 of my children have not bowed. They are coming out now. They will look you at your face and say, your, your gift perish with you. They will be hungry from you. Their, heart, their roof will be, will be raining on them. You will tell them, I have built duplex for you. They'll say, you go to, go to hell with your duplex. Unless you want to serve this God, the holiness, you and your gift go to hell. Say, they are coming. I say, if you are not ready for it, they are coming. Children, of God, are we ready for what is about to happen? The Lord is about to sanitize his church. The Lord is about to fit his church. The sword is out. It's piercing. It's piercing. Thank God for some people on the mountain. It's piercing them. It's piercing them. Please, I want to beg you here. I want to beg myself. If you find out that the sword has come and you know what somebody is doing, the sword pierces that person, don't be rejoicing, you're always coming. Don't be rejoicing, say, hey, this man of God, God bless you. Hey, you are a good, you are a great man of God because you are brave for your own to come. Maybe you know what Apostle is doing, you know what Stephen is doing, and the word came from the altar, a sword pierces her. Please don't rejoice. Don't be happy. That is just for that sister. God, glory be to God. Hey, this is a great word of God. Pray that God lets this sword also locate me. I pray even before tonight, I say, God, please, the sword you'll be bringing tonight, let it locate me and my family. I refuse to labor and end the hell. God forbid. Do you know if all these things we are doing, God have accepted, God have accepted it? If God does not accept you, what does not what make you to think you have accepted your, your gift? A time is coming, it's, it will open his children, his children's eyes to know those who must your don't pay offering, don't pay tithe, please don't do it. Unless you have been accepted by God. Your time and offering is nonsense. Go with it. People, men of God, will stand and say it. They are coming. Armies, 7,000 of them that have not bowed 
And he told Elijah, they are coming. And I pray God show mercy upon this ministry. Uh, let Emmanuel and the minister of personal smarty be among them. Every error we have made, everything we have done, we have, we have been fooling ourselves. May God have mercy upon us and let this word pierce into us and begin to do exactly what the Lord wants us to do. Amen. Please don't pray for that healing. Don't pray for that deliverance until you know your spiritual life is set with God. You know why? He said he's tired of seeing people that he wants healed. Of seeing people he wants delivered in hellfire. It's painful. It's painful. People he wants cast out demons from, they will still go and meet the demons in hell. Many man daily did not go that way. He cast out demons from Mary Madeline, and Mary Madeline did everything to keep herself pure and holy. And today she's suggesting she did not go back to the demons that was cast out of her. Yeah. She did not go back to those sickness. Many people that Christ once healed on earth, they are receiving double, triple portion of this of the sickness again in hell. And you think Christ is happy? You think it's rejoicing? No, he said to me, it's painful. It's painful. How many of us here will be happy that a child, you did everything to sponsor his school. You sponsor him to any level. At the end, you see him on the street. Packing nonsense. What are you doing? What, how will you feel? You see him on the street and, and arrogant on the street. Will you be happy? That is exactly how the Lord feels whenever any soul he ever healed, he ever delivered, he ever said, it's funny hell. It's painful. People who, who have children here, consider what the Lord is saying. Will you be happy after you have spent all your resources, everything, to treat your children and at the end you see them? Being stupid, foolish, and arrogant on, on the streets. Will you be happy? Then he said, I don't know about other churches. In this ministry, don't tell me. Release your fire of healing. Don't say it until my children are ready to receive this word of pierce into them and deliver their soul first of all. I will not know when I heal them, my healing upon their life will not be vain. This is not just what we, we, that what we end on the mountain. Please, as we are going back home, we should go and pray. Father, let this word that be released pierce into me. Let this word that be released pierce into my husband. Pierce into my children. Begin to look at every area in my life that we make the Lord to reject it or that they pierce it and destroy it. It's, it's meeting some people very hard, man. And you that it has, it has not met, please don't be, don't be rejoicing. Your own is coming. And I pray, God, let it reach me and my wife. Let it pierce into us very hard. Destroy every iota of sin in us. For anything that will make me to preach all this preaching, do all these things as the end of hell. And for it, will you be regretting why you ever anointed me? Why you ever gave me the Holy Spirit to do your work? Let this word that came to this ministry now pierce into me and destroy it. The sword of correction. Pray for it that God show me mercy and let it locate me. And if it has located you, please, I beg you, don't be angry with the man of God. I beg you. God have done you well. You find out for the past three, four, five days, and something you would have come out and it located that angle that you know you it was not right with God. Please rejoice. That is favor from God to you. And you that it has not got it to, 
you are happy rejoicing. You are happy there. Hey, I know it was that brother. I know it was that sister. God has caught him. Yes, God has caught her. God has caught him. It has caught, God has caught him or her for good. God has caught him or her for good. That is favor from the Lord. So please, we all, we are going to pray sincerely. Father, this new move, you are moving in this ministry. This word you are released. Father, let it pierce me. Let it locate my family. Let this word of correction, this word of deliverance from sin, deliverance from hell, deliverance from the devil, let it locate me, locate my family, and pierce into that angle. And the devil is still sitting. That part of me, and the devil is still sitting. That part of my, that angle in my heart, and the devil is still sitting. Pierce it and cut it off. Pierce it and cut it off. The sword of connection has been released. And, and, army, I don't know, I don't know if there's some people, army is coming. I'm just talking, I don't know, you can just topic it, you can use, use your wisdom to topic it. Praise the Lord. Maybe the sword of correction. Hallelujah. Just to, but I know I'm only saying what I'm to say. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, sister, ma, I don't want what God is about to do to pass me by. I want to be among those armies God is releasing. Armies that will not bow. Armies that will not bow to pressure. Sister, you can be among them. It can, it may, it may not, it, it's not necessary it will be men. The Lord is selecting them. Will you make yourself available? People do not bow for pressure. Holiness is holiness. It's either you give me holiness and leave it. If your house that you built for me, the car that you buy for me will defy me, please don't do it. The Lord is looking for people like that. The Lord is looking for girls and boys. I will say, if marrying, we seem to her, I will not marry. If marriage will not make me to enter heaven, I'd rather be like Apostle Paul, I will not marry. God is looking for youth in this era. I say, it's either God or nothing. And you know what? It's preparing them. Please, we we'll pray that your children will be, will, will be, will be among them. We we'll pray that God will find favor in your husband and make him among them. We we'll pray that God will find favor, God, that God will show you, show you favor. You'll be among them. It's preparing them. And these are the people that will reign in a time. And the Lord is looking at looking for ministries that will allow themselves to be used in this. Ministries that will not compromise. The Lord is looking for branches that will not compromise. He's looking for people who will come out and say, Father, a body can be destroyed. Father, I no, I can be poor, but so long my spirit is right with you. Let it be. People don't understand. No matter what I do, no matter what I give, if I am not accepted of God, my gift is not accepted. Man may take it from you, but is God taking it from you? Man may accept the khaki. You know if God accepted it. People might gather in the church you build. Do you know if God accepted it? No. If God has not accepted you, your gift is not accepted. And people that come open their eyes, I'll say, 
I will not take it so long. You are not accepted by God unless you go and pray for God to accept you. You, your gift, your tithe, your offering, your whatever is, is not accepted in this holy, in this, in this holy mountain, in this holy church. God is looking for a church that, like that. Many churches today are not moving forward because of things that enter. Because of the unacceptable people who are doing work in the house of the Lord. Because of tithe and offering, because of gifts that are coming, that are divine, is slowing down the spirit of, of God in the church. You must pray and say, God, this sword of deliverance and correction, then locate me. I don't want to give an unacceptable service and give to God anymore. I don't want the Lord to regret ever healing me while I was on earth. Do you know there are millions of souls in hell that want to give testimony of their healing on earth? Do you want to be like that? Do you know there are many millions of souls in hell that want vomited twice they ate? The one that want roll on the ground, demons cast out for today. The Lord is regretting they never came to him in hell. I mean in heaven. They never came to where God did that thing for. For it to come. And uh, you, you think the Lord, is, the Lord is happy. He's not happy. Do you want you and I to be like that? And they say, my son, I will not come down with healing and deliverance again. That will end on earth here only. I will not come down again unless I see the children have called by myself. If you are the one that came by yourself, it's not a problem. The children have selected by myself and said, This one, I've chosen you to come to my kingdom. Those I have had picked, not those who stumble in, those I have had picked, I know them. My sheep hear my voice. They follow me, and I know them by their names. My sheep hear my voice. Ah. Even when they stumble, I pick them again. I straighten them again. Hey. Even when my sheep wander away, I look for them all. I correct them all. I straighten them again. Even when my sheep wander away, I look for them all. I correct them all. I straighten them again. But all I'm saying, my sheep, open your ears. I hear my voice so oh, when I call you by your name. My beloved sheep, open your ear. When the master is calling, when your father is calling, when your shepherd is calling, even when my sheep wander away, and they hear my voice, oh, they run to me, oh, and say, Papa, be gone, take me again. Even when my ship mistakenly wander away, while they hear my voice, oh, I'm all the crowd, they come out and say, Papa, yeah, I am. Mm. Even when my sheep miss their self with the gutter, once they hear my voice, oh, they come out of the gutter and say, Papa, yeah, 
My sheep hear my voice. Hey. Follow me. I know them by the name. The Lord is using his word to look for his children. He said, this time around, I have to stretch sword to look for them. And the sword is stressing them. Many of the sheep of God, they have been mixed with the goats. And it's carving the goat out of them. Many of the children of God, the sheep of God, they have eaten from the table of the goats. And the Lord is using his sword to make sure he does surgery so that it does food of the gods they have eaten. It taken away from them. Have the sword met you? Almost all the sheep have gone astray, have eaten at the table of, of goats. But God said, I will not let them be. I'm releasing the sword to do surgery on them. To make sure those food of God they have eaten is surgically removed from them. It, it will be painful. Some of you, it will take three, four days to recover from it. <laughs> Say, my son, don't just worry. Some of you, it will take sometimes a week to recover from the surgery God has done in your life. Don't worry. After they are recovered, their eyes clear, then they will know what has happened. This word is asked for the children that God has chosen. Remember, many are called, but few are chosen. Those that God has chosen, He will never allow them to go to hell. It's not possible. He will never. You are one of them. I am one of them. And I'm happy, rejoicing that I am one of them. Rejoice. Not rejoicing that somebody else has been pierced. If you yourself have been pierced, rejoice. But if you yourself have not, have not been pierced, Say, Father, please, I beg you. Don't let this world pass me by. This surgical operation you are doing in the life of your children that you love, don't let it pass me by. This world will unite family that have, not, that have, that have been scattered for so long. Pray that this world will meet your husband when you when meet him, meet your wife. After the strategy, ah, what is this? You mean I was so wrong? You mean I was on my way to hell? Lord, I thank you. Every thing we have been doing in error, Father, locate it. All my holiness in error, all my righteousness in error, <laughs> let this word locate it. Let the sword of correction and deliverance locate it. Father, I am not so much concerned about my body healing now. I am not so much concerned about anything now. The most important thing to me now is let your sword pierce me. When your spirit is healed, your body will be healed. That's why I said in Matthew 7, verse 6. Give not that which is holy to the dog. Because many of dogs now, they hell After receiving it of the Spirit. What a pain to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. After eating his body, drinking his blood, and the egg, seeing such a person in hell, how do you think he will feel? After receiving, after you have sung for him on earth, and the end is not seeing you. You know, Christ see all those here, except you just want you don't want to see them. After all the sun you sung 
I don't know the sign from him or earth. You are not singing for the devil. And that is what you will do for eternity. You think God will be happy. Not that maybe after you do it in hell for some time, you come again. No. 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 Those men of God in hell now, you think God is happy. Knowing that they will never, ever, ever cross again to him. He's not happy. That's why he's saying, I will not allow such a thing to happen to my children in this ministry. I will not allow it. None of my servants that preach on this mountain be found in hell. Not except, except he or he just want to, but God forbid. None of my child that I ever sang for me in this ministry will be found, will, will see for devil hell. None of my children that ever did anything in mountain solution will be found in hell. No. No. That's why we must, we must by ourselves open our hearts for the sword to pierce us now. But by ourselves willingly. Even if you are not willing, it will do it all because I will save you. That is it. Even if you don't want to allow it, the Lord will forcefully pierce the sword into you. You will only cry. You will only weep. At the end, you will bounce back again. And I pray, God Almighty, that show this mystery mercy. We begin to show every church and their mercy. Thank you, Jesus. This is what the Bible says in the book of Hebrews 4, verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joint and of and marrow, and is the discerner of the thought and eating of the heart. Father, let this word pierce me. I begin to de design, divide, pierce, cut off, operate in every area of my life that I need operation to be done. But I don't want to receive your healing on earth here and be found in hell. Some people might be say, ah, but I never knew this how this is what this next vision is all about. Yes. Yes. This is it. This is it. The first night it was 70, 50, 70, 80. Now it's coming down, but it doesn't matter. Although that the Lord have is organizing it for. We we'll do it for we we'll do it. Yes. Lord, I know this is my time for total redemption. Let the sword you are released enter my family. That my stubborn husband. That my stubborn wife. That my stubborn, my stubborn children. Let this sword pierce them. In the dream, pierce them. In the dream, pierce them. As my husband is driving to the office, pierce him. As my wife is cooking, let this sword come and pierce her. Yes. It's a prayer we must pray earnestly. It's a prayer we must pray earnestly. Do you need healing? Do you need deliverance? This is what you need, first of all. So that after you have received body healing, and my leg was paining me, I can't feel the pain again, but your soul is deep, is deep pain. Oh, I used to feel headache on my head. The headache is gone. But your soul is carrying kind of strong headache. I used to have sleepless night. Now I can't sleep well now. From that moment, your soul does, 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 does not, it's not restless. 
God forbid. God forbid. We plan something else for tonight. But he said, my son, you better go the way. I want you to go now. Let the sword kiss me. Let the sword of deliverance that had been released on this mountain pierce me. Father, don't let it pass my family by. No matter how we think we are holy, this world has something to do with your life. Somebody hear me? No matter any of us think we are holy, we are pure, we are prayer for whatever, this world that has been released still has something to, be, to remove in your life, in my life. It's only a foolish person that say, ah, it's not me. I am the man of God. I am holy already. No, 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 no. This world has something to remove from me, Emmanuel. This world has something to remove from you. Ever. As it's right now. Let this world look at me. The sword of healing of the soul, the sword of healing, of salvation. Many of our salvations are sick. Our souls are sick. We need healing of our souls. I wish above all things, third John 2, that thou may prosper and live in evil and thy soul prosperous. Many of our souls are poor, wretched, but yet we are so prosperous. Such people can say, I'm really happy to reject their prosperity. Hey, man of God, I'll surprise you. What's the surprise? Just follow me. Follow you where? Hey, by the grace of God, I just built a big marshal. Duplex for you. Hey. But you are not serious about God. But you don't care about this of God, I reject it. I will not take it. I want God to, to accept you first before your grief will be accepted. Because I don't want you to go use my name to cry in hell. Even, even when I did my share for the man of God, upon all the money I was spending for him, now I'm here. No. God don't want his children's name to be held in hell again. No. No. If your gift must be accepted, your soul must have been accepted by God. If your jet, a hey, man of God, praise the Lord, hallelujah. God laid in my heart. I don't know God that laid your heart. That, that, that your heart that, that, that is so simple. My heart to, to buy jet for the for evangelism. God will not accept any gift from whoever he has have not accepted. No. Then I ask myself now, all the gifts I have been giving, all the work I have been doing, did God accept them? All my running around, I'm an evangelist in day and night, spending my money to evangelize, did God accept them? If you say yes, did God accept you? Because God will not accept gifts from whoever He has not accepted. First of all, Lord, search me. Lord, search me. It's time for every one of us to hold on to whatever we are giving to, to God, so to say. To search ourselves is my life accepted of God. It's time for we, the men of God, to hold on to whatever we are doing and set ourselves are we accepted of God so that we will not be told on the last day, I never knew you. You know why he will say I never knew you? Because he never accepted you when you were doing the thing. He never knew you. He never knew you. It means he never accepted you when you were doing it. Even when you were singing, preaching, doing all you were doing, he never knew you because you were doing it in sin. Mm. 
many of us, all, most of us, we don't pray some prayers. Lord, grant me understanding of that word. And God is not in the spirit of man. I want to really know the understanding. God does not hear the prayer of sinners. Lord, grant me understanding of that word. Grant me understanding. So, who have been answering my prayer then? Since you don't hear the prayer of sinners, I will, be, I will have hatred in my heart as he pray. Who have been answering me? Since you are a God that does you, your word, you say you respect your word more than yourself. Who answered my prayer then when I was having hatred? When I was having envy, jealousy, when I was keeping malice, who answered my prayer then that I was praying? That is what I'm talking about. Lord, they ever have been making mockery of your spirit of holiness. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. This, I want to be reconciled with you. Yeah. I want to be Perfectly dread with you now. I'm tired of being rejected by God and yes, you working for him. He said, if God say now, I don't I don't hear the prayer of somebody who who, who is living the same. Why not make the thing you have accepted the gift you are giving? Why not make us accept to believe you have accepted the work that we are doing? Father, I don't want to labor even though. The sword you have released on this mountain now to, to correct everything, to correct everything in our marriages, to correct everything in our lives, to correct everything in our work with you. Let it pierce me, locate me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. But I don't want to be saying, yes, hey, hey, that sister. I personally know that sister. Exactly what God has just said is that sister. I know her behavior. Hey, no, 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 no. That is detrimental. Instead of you to be crying, oh God, you are just looking at that sister, you look at that family. Why not me? Why not me? Why not me? He is so this why I always cry for my also. He is so dangerous and detrimental for God to be using you to see the the the, the the, the death in life of people and your own is not showing you. Yet. Oh, you don't know what you are doing. They say, I'm saying, Lord, please, as you are using me to locate people, people's own, please don't abandon my wife. Oh. Don't abandon me. Please, the one that after service, I will also go and be crying. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I don't want to be a man of God who will say, do what I say and don't do what I do. I don't want, I don't want that. I've told you alcohol is bad though, but if you don't see me drink, you still drink. Only for you, I have special grace. So no, I don't have that grace of sin. No. By the grace of God, I am a man of God. God that give me special grace. I have told you adultery is a sin. Hey, don't say because God forbid. You know, uh -huh. at the end of your journey, you will know that God is not a respecter of anybody. So God, as you are dealing with the pew, deal with the pulpit. Let the sword evil be much on the pulpit. Then 
begin to locate every laborers in this ministry. All the pastors, all the ministers, the apostles, locate them, locate their wives, locate their children, locate everyone connected to us so that our labor will be in vain. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I want you to open your mind if this word has not put to sleep and be to cry as you can. Father, let the new move you are moving in this ministry, the wave of it blow into my family. Let this word angrily come into my family and angrily deal with every sin. Angrily locate every bad behavior. Locate every bad and every bad habit in my life. Angrily deal with them. And let the fire of your anger against him burn into my family. The fire of your anger against him not against you, not against him. Born into my family. I'm beginning to burn everything. Then you will be born into my family. Amen. Begin to burn in me and my family. Begin to burn in me and my family. Oh, God, have my father, please, by your goodness, as yours. let in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. I want also to pray this prayer as we mean it. Father, the fire of anger against him. The fire of anger against bad character. Against evil thoughts. Against evil imagination. Against anything that has to do with devil. Born into my family and begin to trace everything that needs to be born out. Go then with your anger and let your mercy remain with me and my family in the name of Jesus Christ. Open the prayer. Amen. Amen. 
you and I may not know. We may not know. But we're going to pray it. I say, Father, wherever that I was taken, may me being a man of God, me doing what or the other can bribe my way into, into your kingdom. Wherever I was taken, me doing performing miracle, performing whatever, me giving gift, me doing anything at all, can bribe my way into heaven. Father, I repent from that thought today. Help me to know you need to accept me first of all before whatever I'm doing. May I be accepted whatever I need to do for you to accept me so that my work will be accepted on that day. Be released upon me today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to understand something. Before God chose David, God already know him. You can be talented for singing. You can be talented to preach the word of God. You hear me? You can be talented to preach eloquently. You can be talented to, to sing. And yet, you'll be equated into doing it. 
But what is that thing that God has seen in you and I that's going to us? Let's see what God said about our, one of our brothers. In uh, John chapter 2. Amen. 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 Okay, yes. John, no, no, John chapter 1. John chapter 1, verse 47 to verse 47. Let me just talk a little of time. Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him and said unto him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guy. Before this man even comes to join Christ, he already knows who this man is. Behold his daughter, full of envy. Behold this son, full of pride. Behold this son. But even if it's at that, you, because of your talent, you can be doing, doing the work, but yet you are not accepted. Do we not know now? Before we come to the Lord, He already knows. Do we, do we not know now? Yes, sir. He, he said, Go and anoint my son David, a man. I found a man after that. Then, now bring me to this prayer point. What did God see in me and you? He closed His eyes on it and allowed us to be walking. Knowing that we are not, not that we are, we are set to do, but because of that talent, because of that, your, your voice, your eloquence, he allowed you, he closed his eyes, he closed his eyes on Judah Iscariot, he knew what this guy would do. Have I not chosen you, Trevor, on one of his devil? No. He still put money in his hand and allow him to be doing what he's doing. But he already knew the end of that young man. Am I rejoicing? God is using me to cast out devils. He's using me to preach the message. He's using you to sing. And God, there's something you have closed his eyes on to be open on that day. See, Nathaniel, Sister Antonia Okaka, what did God see in you when you were coming? Peter, you are so, 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 and you shall be so, 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 so. Sister Maria, what did the Lord see in you? Ego, Mr. Ferdinand, and then you were Emmanuel. What did the Lord see in us? And since that thing is in you and in me, to do that, to make sure the mission move forward, he closed his eyes on it and said, God, I've been doing it. Do it. That is what the sword is here for now. That is what the sword. Have we ever one day? God, Nathaniel was coming. See how you spoke about him. When I was coming, what did you say about me? Behold my son, full of so, 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 so. Behold my daughter, with very awful bad character. With that character, with that thing in me and you, if he closed his eyes, we are still manifesting what we are manifesting. Enough is enough. God, we're going to pray, God, that thing you saw in me. And you are closing your eyes on it because you know I have to go to evangelism to preach what tomorrow. That thing you saw in me. You are closing eyes on it because you know I have to preach tomorrow morning. Because you know it's my talent. It has been built into me. I must seek for you as a chorister. But you are closing your eyes on me. And it is so what you have against me on that day. Lord, let this word you have released in this ministry now locate that thing. And cut it off me 
or put it away from me. No matter how painful it may be, I'm ready to receive the pain in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope you want to pray. that i Amen. Is this somebody's house? Is it place in Bible that scares me so much? Is it somebody's house? Well, I don't understand. Amen. 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 There's one thing, there's one scenario in the Bible that scares me so much. I never understood it until the Holy Spirit made me understand. In the book of uh, Mark, chapter 9, verse 38. Maybe to 40. Mark 9, 8 to 40. It says, And John answered him, saying, Master, we saw one casting out devils in the name, in thy name. And he followed us not. Followed, followed, followed not us. And we forbid him because he followed not us. 39. But Jesus said, Forbid him not. For there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name that can let him speak evil of me. Forty, for he that is not against us is, is, is on our part. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord was just concerned about of that young man. He said, are you for us? For us, we do what we are doing. Ah, you are not doing it all. It's not my business, but just be doing it so long you know that you are for me. But the ones he chose to make sure they walk to his kingdom, he put them on the side. And he said, this is where you will go. That young man, he can go anywhere and do it. So get me now. That young man can go to anywhere and do it. But his disciples will tell them, you, go here, go here, don't pass here. No pass there, no pass there. Even if that one was doing it in error, so long as it's cast a demon, just be on our side, no problem. Many men of God, many churches are like that today. So long they are calling my name, 
So long they are not fighting me, just let them be doing what they're doing. But the one I have chosen to myself, I know how to correct them. Don't, don't forbid him. Who is the master now? Who is the master of that person? He's just doing his own. But the one that have Christ as their master, in the morning, we say, John, Peter, go here. But that one cannot wake up and go anywhere. I'll be doing it. Is that how you are living your life with God? With God? Yet, it will not forbid you. So long you are doing it to, to propagate his work, it will not forbid you. So long you say you are singing for him, even if you sing and go and fornicate and sing again, no problem. You are for him. Even if you are sleeping with people's wife, so long you are for him, you are not against him. He has no problem about you. But when the time shall come, it will differentiate them. Now, and I ask myself a question. Has God left you to be doing whatever you are doing? You never want to hear again the Bible. And God says, okay, let me look for that young man to even know if he's doing it well. Do you this? There was never a day, that's okay, that person that they say is working on my name, let me even go and check. I, God, I told my apostles, don't pass the, the shore of, of, of the uh, children of, of the Jews. Even though that one happened to Jet and I, you don't even know. Let, her, let, me, let him go. Is somebody getting what I'm saying right now? Yes, sir. That is the cry I cry every day. That is the danger of you are not being corrected by God. You are just doing it. You can hate and do anything. You still sing so long you are not against him. No problem. Don't do it, okay? Just preach my word. So long you are not preaching against me. So long you are not fighting me. Just do it. Many churches today are like that. Many Christians today are like that. And Christ has just left. Let the young man be doing whatever he's doing. So long it's not against me. It's for us. No problem. But at the end, oh, you will not tell me who was, who was, who was leading you. You will not tell me how you are getting instruction. Go there, don't go there. The Bible says, and he said that two by two. Where he said will also go. Where you were going, who followed you? Lord, have you neglected me? To be doing whatever I like, I don't anymore. Lord, have you seen that I'm against you? But you don't allow me to be doing anything. Father, I don't want to be a master of myself again. Like that young man, he was the master of himself. Do whatever he liked. Father, look at me. Is that who I am? Since it's your evangelism I'm doing, I can don't go anywhere and do, do it. This is your work. The, the man of God says something that day. That thing is still ringing in my head today. I'm still checking. God, what, why do you lay it in the mouth of this man to say this? What are we doing? We're not supposed to be doing. Say in many churches today, the program that is not the program of God is the program of men of God. Father, every program of apostolic manner in this ministry, please remove them. Every program that is of me, remove them. Every branches that was that was brought of me, remove them. No matter what was happening there, remove it. What about your family? What about you? Look, I don't want to be on my own anymore. Father, please don't tell me to be doing whatever I like. So long, so long I'm calling your name. Father, don't tell me. Please, I'm begging you. Don't give me independent to be on my own. Join me to pray for this ministry. 
don't give man no solution and redemption premise worldwide independent. Don't give a post to a man independent to be on his own to do whatever he like. Nobody ever done that and enter God's kingdom is not done. Eternal came in the life of King Saul. Say, King Saul, I've left you to be on your own now. He was still fighting and everything, yet he was, he was on his own. I refuse to be like that. So if you understand the message now, I want you to, to, to open your mind. I, I, I say that God led you. Please, God, I don't want to be on my own. Don't tell me to be do whatever so long it's on my name. If I have been, Father, I repent today. I bow down my knees to you. Be my master, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, please pray if you understand. Have mercy upon me to overcome it. So sorry, Father, for involving so much more over other than you. Father, please, I pray you have mercy. Yahweh, to my so long I'm doing it in your name, I have God. I don't leave you to be with God. Those yet to be with God. I'm so God. I we may not understand what God is doing for us now. There are some people that are dead now. They are saying, I wish when they were busy running up and down, look for a miracle up and down. This is the kind of prayer they were praying. They are saying, oh, I wish all those years I was busy going up and down, looking for how to fall and get up again. I'm not saying it's not good to you know. I'm not saying, we see it's happened here in this ministry. They are like, okay, maybe the man is not anointed, that's why, that's why you do not this. And I beg you, don't mind him. You know that uh, you know uh, he's jealous of the men of God who are performing miracle. That's why he's praying his pray, pray, prayer just to cover up. No, no. People are regretting it. Souls are regretting. In those times they spend looking for what's not lost. I wish it was what we are doing that they were doing. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh,
The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 9, verse 9. And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. And he said unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. He arose and followed him. He left that custom. He left whatever he was doing. And want us to pray. Father, that day you called, you called me. The Bible says when he called Peter in, 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 a, in Matthew 25 or Luke 5, there about. When he called them, the Bible says they left everything and followed them. Please be in spirit with me, I beg you. Don't say I, I don't say I should go and leave my work and leave my husband. Please be in spirit with me. I'm speaking, don't speak to, to wise people here. Father, that thing I carry along. The day you say my daughter follow me. The day you say my daughter frame and follow me. That thing I was supposed to leave behind that I, that I carry along. The day you say my daughter Imande, my daughter Indidi, follow me. That thing that I carry along that I was supposed to leave behind. Father, please, it's never too late. I am dropping it now. I leave it behind from this moment in the name of Jesus Christ. Hope your mother pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Father Lord, the word is not in my life, Father. So I that I'm carried away to other people. Father, I am carried along the road. All those things I'm carrying around and I Every idol sin that we carry along by you hold us with the of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Every idol me and my family carry along. I go up on God. Every idol of sin, oh God. Father, we drop it right in my heart. This is for my children. We drop it at your feet, oh God. This is all right back into you, Lord. Father, please, we drop it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He has asked me for the dark thing that we the Lord is about to have mercy upon each other. Amen. I say, Richard, please be with me. I'm not saying Richard as a that name. Somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. The Lord is here to have pleasure upon Richard. The Bible says, a ten came after Jacob and all his family have stayed long in the house of labor. Just as you and I have stayed long in where we were, God now decided to say, Now I'm taking you back to Bethel. Better is the place of God. As they were going, Richard carry what goes along. God even showed Richard mercy to send Laban to go ahead of them, to pursue them, so that Richard might drop that ghost. The sword pierced into her, into her tent. She hid it. My father, 
No, you know I'm pregnant. And because of that, Richard did not got, get to what? Got to, got to better. She died on the way. God don't want the Richard in this ministry to die. He wants them to enter the promised land. God has said now, I want my children to come to me. Richard, what is that idol you are carrying? What is that idol you are carrying? Forget to read the Genesis 35. We first to know about uh, Sister Richard. Maybe you go to about uh, 20. Yes, go to about 31. To 31 to 32. To 32. 31 especially. You get to read it. You know about the church we're talking about. When he not got to that, when did not get to better and in 25 and all, oh, Richard was not there again. Why? Because of the idol she carried. Who is that Richard among us? Jacob is going back to Bethel. God is taking his children to Bethel. That's why in that Genesis 35, Jacob told them, God have appeared to me to go to Bethel. Whatever you are carrying now, every ghost in you, drop them, bring it down, let me hide them where they cannot be seen again. God said, and they begin to remove everything, all the gold, all the silver, all the gods there, but richer, before the richer say no, she, she must die with her gods. I want us to pray. Lord, as you are taking this ministry to better, every ghost I've carried in the house of labor, every ghost that is with me, that ghost of evil character, that ghost of envy, of jealousy, of anger, of any evil imagination. Lord, today, locate it. Check my tent. Check my tent. And locate it. Remove it from me. I want to follow you to better. I don't want to die on the way in the name of Jesus Christ. Open oh, me that pray if you understand. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come before you now this morning. I want to go to bed tonight, Father. Take <laughs> This prayer point just flashed to my heart now, and I believe it's true. All this thing that is happening now, God saying, I will not come down for now, saying healing deliverance. It may be because of one person. This my daughter, this my son must be clean and pure before I move again. And you are holding on to the healing of somebody else. Because of you. If at the end, the Lord will show you this kind of mercy, the Lord hold on to his hand of healing because of you, to make sure you are right with him so that his healing upon your life will not send you to hell. At the end, you, you did not still make you up yourself to align. Oh. The Lord is talking to someone tonight. 
the Lord is talking to someone right now. It might be me. It might be you. It might be someone connecting with us. I want you to pray. Now, am I the reason why you're doing all this? Am I, is it my family you so much love like this? That you are doing all this? People are crying, Father, heal me, deliver me out of my head. You say no until this family is right with me. Until this, my son, this, my daughter is right with me. Then I will now move again to that level. Lord, is it me you that so much for this grace? Father, I open up all. Father, please, I surrender. Whatever you need to do, for this your labor not to be in vain. For you not to start asking me on the last day, on the 20th of August, right? Of August. I hold on to every other thing because of you. I overload the cry of my children that are saying, my do, this, do this because of you. That you might come to my kingdom and yet, my daughter, my son, why do you to you? Father, may that be my portion. I surrender whatever you need to do for this love you have shown to me and my family. Please do it and do it completely. Don't stop until you have finished the project you have started in my life now. In the name of Jesus Christ, open my prayer. Amen. Understand that there's no shame in hell. There's no shame in hell. Everyone in hell are shameless. It's a dark place, very, very thick darkness. Everyone there are naked. Why am I saying this? You're going to pray. Lord, if you take it or disgrace me openly, Lord, if that thing in my life must be exposed openly, this prayer, so people are not pray to. 
if that thing in my life, in my family, need to be exposed openly for you go to see, for people to even be laughing at me. Eh? I thought he says, hey, man, I go, hey, hey, CCO, if you see what was revealed about here, if you see, my dear Sadejo, it's better I be laughed at now. Uh. It's better I be mocked now. Lord, whatever you need to do in my life, if it takes people to stand away from me because of what they say here about me, if you take people to start making mockery of me when I am not holy before God, Father, please do it. Don't hesitate at all. Do it, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, you <laughs> In order to save my soul, Father, do it, O God. That this grace me to embrace me, O kingdom of God. Glory me, Jesus Christ. Lord, that secret sin in my life, O Yahweh, this grace me, by Yahweh, this grace me to embrace me, O kingdom of God. Daddy, do not hide my family, your mercy. Do not hide my iniquity, your mercy. Do not hide my daughter, your mercy. Do not hide my sin. That sin that is that unconfessed, that indecent, every sin that needs to be exposed in my life, in my family. That is exposed in my family. That is exposed in order to embrace me. I heard in my spirit so loud. Who is talking about shame there? They don't know what she can do. Do they know what happened to me when I carried a sin? I was naked. Show them the picture of what she can do. I became naked. Everything about me was removed. Tell the next what sin does. Tell the next what I did for them. That's why anyone that died in sin naked into hell. Talking about shame, people will laugh. Tell them I was laughed at. I was not. Every clothes was removed to so tell you this what sin does. It's better a naked you not know, to clothe you. It's better you are naked not to be clothed by his glory. Adam and Eve were clothed by God's glory. Are they sinned by God's naked? And their eyes was open, they saw they were naked. Before that, time, it was the glory of God that covered them. Whenever you sin, you are naked. The Lord just came away, carried himself in man with Abraham, he became naked. And God Almighty so said, I cannot behold such. No. <laughs> That's why anyone on the way to hell, God does not behold them. So I want us to pray, people of God, I say, God, if you take it to naked me now, Naked me and clot me with your with clot me. Father, every sin in my life, remove them, naked me afresh, and clot me with holiness, clot me with righteousness, clot me with your glory. 
from henceforth. In the name of Jesus Christ, open what I pray. Amen. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God, my Father, Lord, my Father, my Father, my Father, my Father, I want us to pray that God will help us with help, uh, brother, to the poor. You know what happened there? And for God knows the kind of life I was for, who I was for is. He gave him his punishment now, so he will be punished on the last day. He knows he will make some errors. He knows his life. He said, because so that I will not be uh, uh, celebrated above measure, he gave me a ton of my flesh. So that, let me just receive it now. So on the last day, he said, ah, but when he was on earth, he went through it already. He suffered all already. So you have nothing against him now. That was what God did in that Bible to Paul. But Satan never understand what happened there. He gave him his portion already while he was still living. Sometimes something can happen to you. You'll be praying, Oh, Father, this thing, they move it. They say, Oh, my daughter, the pain you that will go through at the end is what you are going through now. So, so what do you mean? All this humiliation, this sickness you are going through now, if your eyes open, it's for the safety of your soul later. Mm -hmm. I want us to pray. It's a difficult prayer. Lord, if I must suffer anything now, for the safety of my soul later, is this sickness, is it any pain? If I must suffer anything now for the deliverance of my soul later, Father, as your grace was sufficient for the poor, please, I am ready for it. All I need is your grace, O oh God. Let your will be done in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hope your mama pray. Father, Jesus, 
the Bible said about Peter in John chapter 20, John 20, verse 18. No, sorry, John 21, verse 18. Say, Verily, verily, I say unto you, unto thee, when thou was young, thou guarded thyself and walked without whether thou wouldest, wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and another shall guide thee, and carry thee whether thou wouldest not. 19. This plague he, signifying by which, by what death he will glorify God. And when he has spoken this, he said unto him, Follow me. Follow me. Uh, it's those that wrote the story said Peter was nailed upside down in death. He wanted to nail, he said, No, 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 no I can't die like my master. Please nail me upside down. Why did the Spirit of God let me hear? What is that thing that will glorify God in your life? That thing that must be done that will glorify God in your life. Peter was walking, he knew what was ahead of him it was terrible. But yet he walked to it and got it. The Bible said, I said, I will show him, leave him, I will show him how much he will suffer for me. I want us to pray. That thing that I must go through to glorify you, that humiliation, that rejection, that thing, that thing I must go through, but that will glorify you in my life. I receive abundant grace now, not to drop the cross when it is being given to me, not to say I will not drink of the cup when the cup of that thing shall be offered to me to drink. All I need is your grace to eat it, to drink it, to carry it when the time comes. In the name of Jesus Christ, open and pray. May I not deny you, Jesus, oh God. Father, help me, my husband, my children, not to deny you, Lord. Father, give me the abundant grace, the grace upon me, my house, and upon us, oh God. To follow you to the very end of the mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Creator, help me not to deny you, Lord. At that time that you want to glorify yourself in me, at that time, oh God, may I not disgrace you, Lord. May I not betray you, O God. May I not mock you, O God. May I not laugh at you, O God. May I not cause God. Yahweh, give me the grace. My husband, my children, the grace to stand for my God in Jesus. Amen. Please, children of God, let us pray this prayer. Lord, may I not call fire down the day I need to close my mouth. So you hearing me? Yes, sir. May I not call you to come and fight the day when I will need to shut up. The Bible said there was Tony Stephen who closed his mouth. I tell you, if Stephen had said, Holy Ghost, I come down, he would have come down. Do you believe? Yeah. Do you believe? Yeah. If Stephen, at that moment, have said, God save your fire because he would have done it. But God watched him to die the death of glorifying. After the death of Stephen, church burst. There was an outpouring of evangelism. People ran into different countries and they begin to do the work of God. 
Stephen kept quiet. All he could say, Father, forgive them. Don't take it as charge against them. Lord, when I will need to keep quiet, when the thing is tough, when I be humiliated, when I, when you understand what I'm talking about, and you expect me to keep quiet, you expect not to call fire down, you expect me to call help, help that will deliver me from that thing and take my soul from it. Father, help me not to call for help. The Bible says in the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 11, they were offered deliverance, they refused deliverance that they might have what? Better resurrection. Whatever will make me to be looking for deliverance when I'm supposed not to. Whatever will make the Lord Jesus have said, if, if I will need deliverance, I would have called 12,000 of religion of angels to that deliver from your hands. Do you know that is the Bible? Well, yes, sir. People of God, that sometimes, even before I say, Father, heal me, ask yourself, what is the purpose of this sickness here? And just let me know. Is anyone also learning with me? Sir. Sir. <clears throat> Sir. In everything, Father, what is the purpose of this thing? If Mary and Martha knew what Christ was about to do, they would not be spending time to start sending a message. Come on, here. What the purpose was to die and resurrect him. Lord, at what time I don't to start calling for deliverance, may I not? At what time I don't to start calling for help, may I not? At what time I'm supposed to close my mouth and suffer that suffer for your glory, may I close my mouth and suffer it? At what time I need to go through pain for your glory's sake? Help me to go to not to start calling for hey my people join me this and that. At what time I need to be stoned to to be stoned into your kingdom? May I not start dodging the stone? May I not start fighting? May I surrender myself to the stone? That stone that will stone me to your kingdom. Help me to surrender to the stone. I don't know if you understand. But I know one or two people understand. If you do, please pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, please. My Father, my Papa, Father, I am the Father, my Father, my Father, I pray me and you will not run away from stone that will stone you and I to heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. They never knew those stones were treated to Stephen was the, was a stone that will stone him into heaven. I will stop with this by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Chapter 11, verse 35. Women received their dead, their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. We thank God for the night again. Go and rest. Father. Every deliverance I've ever seek or accepted, 
that have cast so many away from your, from your book. Have mercy upon me. Father, help me not to ever from now on accept deliverance that will make me not to enter your kingdom. For example, maybe you are passing through things. The devil just, just say somebody to you. Go and give so, so man of God one billion pounds. And just come, you know you're going through so, so, such pain. Hey, man of God, hey, you know what? I have a gift for you. This is a one billion or one million, one thousand, whatever pound or so. Take this to take it for yourself. Oh, wow, this is wonderful. This one with great distance now. No knowing is a gift for the pit of hell. It's a gift for the devil. That gift has totally canceled you from God. Have you and I received such a gift? Have you and I received help where we are not supposed to receive help? Lord, show us mercy and help us from now on. Let our eyes be open whenever we are going through things to know what to accept and know what, what not to accept. In the name of Jesus Christ, open up our prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that deliverance of God, and I know what God has started now will not stop here, even as you go to sleep right today. The Lord will follow you up in the dream. Everything has started, it will not stop. Both in the dream and all, it will finish everything in my life, in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Open your mouth and thank God if the Lord has gone away today. Celebrate him, glorify him for all he has done for me, for me and my family. He has done so much. My heart is filled with joy. The sword that came, I and my family have received it. I don't know about you. Say, Father, I thank you. Open your mouth and celebrate him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I give you glory. I give you thanks and adoration, O God, of the truth, O God, you have visited us, O God. Soak your family, soak everything God has done for you in the blood of Jesus Christ. That no devil, no power shall be able to come through corner to be to undo what God has done in your life and in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Also, must I pray. Amen. 
the in Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. 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 I have no doubt the Lord is so happy now. I have no doubt that it's rejoice that if you come now, if you happen to come right now, I believe, if not everybody, I believe everyone that connected tonight and our family, we have received mercy from the Lord. We all will fly away with Him. And if you come 10 years to come, the deliverance we receive today will stand. See, he come and take us home in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And I believe from this moment, he will heal us now, he will deliver us with that body wherever we are having pain. We show you mercy, show me mercy, and heal us because that person, that family that the Lord wants to deliver until he start doing it, it will be done in your dream, even as you are going home now. That sickness, you will not see it again. You will not see it again. Those pain, it has gone also in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So, are you among God that you are still not born again? With all these that the Lord has done, please, maybe you heard that in that place, if you just connect, healing will come, that will come. It's done. But please, don't be disappointed. Say, at this not what he told me. What they told me is that when I just come, please, what you saw now is better than what you were thinking. This is the first thing first. So please give your life to Jesus Christ. If you also hear yeah, you were born again, or something happened along the way, you get bastarded. The Bible said the prodigal son came to his senses and returned. I believe what God has done now has beat your head back to sins. Return back to God, I beg you. If you have done that, the Lord is not the, the Lord of your life. He's not the shepherd and, your, and the bishop of your soul. I rejoice with you. The next step to take now is to call on any of the men of God for baptism. And if you do so, I tell you something. You will enjoy life after now. You will know that Jesus Christ is sweet to follow him. The sweetness in, his, in him will be revealed to you. And uh, you and I will never know the way back to sin, to Egypt of sin again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I worship you. I thank you, O oh God, for all you have done tonight. Father, I and my co-pastor, co minister we plan our way. But, O oh God, because of me, because of that, your son, your daughter, your daughter, you go, you came this way. Lord, we humbly say thank you so much. May your name be praised forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Is there any among us God, that don't understand what happened tonight? And they are still offended in one way or the other. Father, please, I'm begging you. Father, we are your little children. Show mercy to such a God. And give them understanding of what you have just done tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I bring this new your children that just got born again to you. Father, please, just as you have been strengthened also God to follow you, strengthen them to the end that every source on this mountain we meet you in your kingdom, where we shall eat and die with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Anything that was done out of context. Is there, did I shout, man, wait, I'm not supposed to shout, is there anything that was error in what you are using to do tonight? Father, please, I bury myself in your blood. Purge me, purify me. I don't want to be a disciples to God. I don't want to live in vain. Show me mercy and show every one of us mercy. To the end, the devil will have nothing to use against us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Even as we go home to, to sleep, oh God, Father, all those dreams we to have before, going up and down in places we don't know, Father, let it not be so anymore. Father, Amen. visit us, oh God, in the dream. Visit Amen. us, oh God, and let this prayer continue in the dream. Let the perfection come, even, even as we are going back home, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. 
Because I know this Lord, that for us, O oh God, we will never do anything that will make you to take it away from us, O oh God. Father, one thing I'm begging you, no matter how we cry, no matter how I carry my head, no matter how I get angry, Father, please don't look at us. Keep on doing what you are doing until you see us in your kingdom. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, I pray with us, given. Amen. Give me a clap, celebrate Amen. 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 Lord. Hallelujah. And God bless you, man of God. More grace and strength. The God Almighty empower you the more. Any virtue that is left to you, may God Almighty replenish it back unto you. I pray your labor and divine most high God will never be in vain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Pray God Almighty divinely settle you and your family. Amen. In your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And so beloved, all glory be to God most high God. We bless God, thank God for what he has done. In the name of the Lord God Almighty be glorified in our lives. Amen. Special grace of God. It's offering time. Blessing time. It's time. Corista, please. We are grateful, oh Lord. You are wonderful, Jesus God of mercy. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful. Amen. 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 Amen.